Well, let's look at this next equation. This time we're looking at the cosine function, and the equation is cos x is equal to 0 0.5, and again we're in the range 0 to 360. So here's the cosine graph. What am I looking for? I'm not bothered about this part of the graph because my range goes from this time 0 to 360 again. So I'm going to draw a line which represents 0 0.5. Why? Because this is the graph of y equals cos x. What have we replaced y by? We've replaced y by 0 0.5, which means I'm going to draw a line on my graph at 0 0.5. So here we go. Remember, this is a sketch, so I don't have to be too accurate. All I'm doing is drawing a line across between the range 0 to 360 at 0 0.5. Okay, how many cuts have I got? So how many solutions am I expecting? Well, I've got a cut here. So I'm expecting an angle to represent it between 0 and 90. Where's my other cut? Notice my other cut this time is somewhere between 270 and 360 degrees. So my two answers, one answer I think will be between 0 and 90, or one answer will be 270, between 270 and 360. Remember the technique to get your first answer. You go to your calculator, you press cos inverse of 0 0.5. So we do x equals cos inverse of that 0 0.5, and out comes an answer of 60 degrees. What does that tell me? It tells me that this here, this region here, that cut is represented by 60 degrees. I now look at the graph. The graph, just like my sine graph, is symmetrical. So I'm looking now for this gap here also being 60 degrees. So if you look, if I draw a line here at 360, that region inside there is exactly the same region as that region there. So in other words, if I take 60 degrees off the 360, that will give me that exact cut inside there, which is 300 degrees. So I'd go to my calculator. Now I haven't had to round these to one decimal place. These are exact, exactly 60 and exactly 300 degrees. So I would expect to type into my calculator the cos of 60 and the cos of 300, and I'm expecting my answer to be 0.5. Now remember, that was in the range 0 to 360. It doesn't always have to be in the range 0 to 360. It could have included some negative angles. So for example, if it was the region minus 360 to 360, I've got my two answers, 60 and 300. But if that range was minus 360 to 360, I've got some more cuts. I continue my line, cuts here. So I've got that bit, and you would all agree that is because of the symmetry, these two bits would be 60 again, so this would be minus 60 as another cut. And then I'm going further along, further on, further on, it cuts again, so I've got this bit. Same again with that 360, that would be 60, so this cut would be minus 300. So in this case, if the range was stretched to minus 360 to 360, I wouldn't just be putting my two answers, 60 and 300 degrees, I'd also have minus 60, I'd also have minus 300 as my other cuts. Okay, we're now going to solve a trig equation involving tangents.